parked off the sketchy road and now onto the sketchy little trail. We don't know how far in this is, but it shouldn't be too bad. Oh, right off the trail, there's something over here. I don't see anything written, but I mean, clearly this is man-made. There's no plaque. If there was writing, it's long since gone. We're not really, you know, sure exactly where these little bunker things are, but we're gonna find them. Oh, we found some stairs. We're gonna go explore. We just spoke to a guy who gave us semi directions, but it looks like it's gonna be kind of a scavenger hunt. So I decided to take a look what was on top of that first set of stairs. It's just some cinder blocks and wood falling apart. So we're gonna go in deeper now. And another set of stairs. There's really nothing we could see at the top of the stairs. And there's certainly a ton of poison ivy. And I've been told there's a lot of rattlesnakes in the area. There's just uh, collapsing foundation stones up here. It's probably a wooden building at some point. I'm gonna try to find the black and white photos from when this site was active and post them in the video so you guys can see. All right found the first set of buildings it's really uh you can step up here it's really decaying <laughs> just completely collapsed in on itself i know there's one that at least is super intact you can go in but whatever this building was is completely shot at this point still very cool to explore there's always lots of Graffiti. And of course, trash. Always trash. And now we're sharing this trail with some uh, dirt bikers making a lot of noise. So try to film in between seeing them. Oh yeah, right up the path. I mean, I wouldn't go down there, but it's certainly open. <laughs> you don't want to go down there? No. <laughs> so that's where it splits, goes right over to the stuff, and then you can just walk through and come back here. We're going to keep going. There's definitely a more intact one somewhere. Yeah, just on the side of the path another crumbling building and this place is full of them this one's really really messed up but it's overgrown so there's really no good way to get over to it not much to see just a ton of collapsed cinder blocks this is all literally just right off the path there's another one on the left over here I'm sure they had everything from bunkers to little silos to administrative buildings, probably places for people to sleep. And we're kind of in the middle of nowhere, considering we're in Connecticut. I'm surprised uh, how middle of nowhere we really are. There's not much left of this road, but it's good enough. So we came to a three-way intersection, right, forward, and left. We were told by the guy we met that this might lead to something that's like off limits and has cameras and stuff around it. I mean, I thought they're done with this area. They're certainly not testing any missiles and everything's decaying. So what are they, uh, what are they guarding out here with cameras? So I really want to go take a look, but he said, yeah, you can't, you can't get near it. So we'll see. Found a friend. Hello, how are you? 
Oh, it just came out into a field. There it is, right there. I don't know what that is, but I can see what he meant by you can't get close to it because this whole area is overgrown and there's a trail that goes all the way around it. So I guess we'll explore a little bit. Here's a much better view from the side. You can see it's entirely surrounded by a fence. Now, to be fair, it looks like a basic wooden fence. It doesn't look like anything fancy, but with the crazy overgrowth, you're not gonna get too close to it. But what, what is it? We're trying to uh, search right now online, figure out what it might be. It's interesting looking. So it seems like even online, people aren't really sure what it is. I guess the suspicion is that it's full of water, some sort of tank. I'm not really sure why you would need a big tank of water out here, but it's a little, uh, little strange that the internet doesn't know what it is. But hey, just another fun mystery. I'll do some digging when I get home. And if I can figure out what it is, I'll add a little update. Back at the intersection, and we're gonna head down the middle path. Someone was having a fire here. Well, it seems like this is primarily a mountain bike trail. No one needs to see the spray paint. But um, yeah, we, can, we don't see anything cool down here, unfortunately. So the one that we can climb in is missing still. We're gonna go check the, uh, the last trail out, but it's gotta be around here somewhere. On to the third and final trail. So it doesn't seem to be anything really on these side trails. Um, they look great for like, you know, maybe moderate or advanced dirt bikers, mountain bikers, either one. Um, but as soon as you head off to them, there's really nothing left of the buildings and everything with the exception of that left path having that strange water tank. So we're gonna look around just a little bit more, see if maybe we missed it in the beginning, but there should be one of these little bunker things that you can very easily walk down into. So it turns out that's the control site. Uh, I guess wherever they were launching the missiles from, it was controlled from here. We're actually just going to head down the road uh, to where the map says the launch site is. And I have a feeling that's probably where we're going to find the, uh, the little bunker I was looking at. Yeah, this road is pretty crazy. Mostly SUVs, trucks, they seem to be the only one dumb enough to have a uh, normal car. All right, we parked follow the path it's kind of dirt pathy and then it turns right back into asphalt and this is the launch site there were some stairs at the beginning we'll check those out last see if they go anywhere but we are on the hunt for any of those bunkers or any of the other cool stuff that's left behind uh, right away another sign of a uh, fire big bonfire it's a burned out mattress and the foundation of some sort of building on the side of the road here. But a lot of, a lot of illegal fires going on in this area that we can see and uh, broken glass everywhere on the ground. It just seems to be the middle of nowhere. I, I wasn't even really aware <laughs> that we had anything quite this rugged in Connecticut in, in the particular area we're in. We're really not that far away from the central corridor through the state. And this feels like we're just in the middle of nowhere. Well, a lot of glass, but big concrete pad, the steel cover. Ooh, that's solid. There's like no no shake under that. Wonder what this must have been. But a couple side trails we gotta check out.
There's another one, but it's all filled with like schmutz. You know what I mean? Yeah, you gotta be careful. That'll that'll break your ankle right here. Bunch of buried structures. Look at this. Now the trick with this spot is that all the boulders are spray painted. So it's really easy from a distance to mistake them for buildings. It's also a billion mosquitoes. So I don't know what any of this used to attach to, but it's all destroyed now. There are these like um, metal chair things. I don't know. I don't know what they are. And then there's this. And it looks like a fan down there or something. Like, what is down there? Just up on the ridge. Looks like another great path for dirt biking. Let's find another hole. The ladder deep inside. But it's quite full of garbage. <laughs> Stone and everything. And, and yes, spiders. Checking out a side trail and there's some... Uh, some deer tracks yeah, definitely out in the middle of nowhere but there's another great off the left fork i don't think there's anything further down the trail nina ran off to go look but whatever these are they sealed off probably where they put the missiles maybe so i'm gonna head back there should be some stairs at the beginning i want to go check out well the stairs right near the front parking just kind of go into the woods. I'm sure they served a purpose at some point, but there's nothing really there. So this gate happened to be open. So we parked inside of it to stay out of the way because the actual parking area outside of it is kind of awkward. This nice uh, hunter guy gave us some advice, but you can see there's not not super safe but our cars fit quite comfortably on the side over there so that's gonna be it for this area we couldn't find the bunker I'm really uh, really upset about this but if you know where it is leave it in the comments below and I'll come back and check it out because I'm really interested in finding it it's like a concrete it looks almost like a like a pillbox um, with a viewing area it's the only thing we couldn't find today I'm really uh, really disappointed in that but yeah, come check out the uh, Nike missile testing range and uh, the control area. A lot of crumbling infrastructure and buildings, super neat. Um, not a serious hike, just a really fun place to go, but watch out for those roads, they're a little nuts.